Hello everyone, welcome to the Eldritch Archive, today's homebrew is a creature by Raid Rover. You might notice my synthesized voice is different today, this is to mix things up based on some viewer feedback. Let me know what you think about this voice or any others going forward. Maybe we will keep cycling them, or maybe we will pick a favorite. As always you can find links to the creator and original post in the episode description, don't forget to like the video, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. The image shown on screen aside the stat block is that of a nearly perfect scorpion molt that inspired the creation of this creature. A glass scorpion is a level 8 mindless construct, this medium-sized scorpion is incredibly hard to spot when it is lying in wait and does not need cover or concealment to take the hide action. Though it is not listed as such in the image, Raid Rover has confirmed the bleed damage from its claws and venom is meant to be persistent damage. The venom it produces causes piercing damage at stage 1, a strange choice at first until you picture the venom crystallizing into shards in a creature's body, this venom also prevents you from recovering from the persistent bleed damage until it is cured. This is worsened in stage 2 when it deals both 2d6 piercing and 2d6 persistent bleed damage. They are a heck of a damage dealer, wearing down their opponents with raw damage and bleed, but they have several weaknesses, from taking 10 extra damage from bludgeoning, to being susceptible to the shatter spell. Upon taking fire damage they also temporarily lose their electricity resistance, allowing for some combo attacks in a mage heavy party. I think the resistances are just as interesting, from the plus one save bonus against light effects to the physics accurate electricity resistance and resistance to non-adamantine slashing. I think it's a good creature that can be tweaked one way or another to fit into nearly any campaign or to fit any kind of party with minimal effort. I think this creature is a great choice of stealthy guardian for an out in the open place, I think for a higher level group that could go up against two to four of them these are a good choice, as they aren't intelligent they will fight based on their directives, maybe allowing the party to circumvent them if they can spot the scorpions. I think a beautiful oasis housing a rare creature or item would be a good place to place these, patiently waiting for the oasis to be disturbed so that they may guard the item or resident while cooling themselves in the water. Their poison is terrifying in its prospects, the idea of something growing within you and piercing you is frightening. I like the touch of it losing its electrical resistance when extremely hot, as glass does lose its electrical insulation at high temperatures. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Give Raid Rover some love, and until next time, peace.